Hi everyone and welcome back. So Dior Sauvage Elixir is one of my absolute favorites and I think is one of the best from Dior for men. But there are other fragrances that I also love. So I'm going to take Dior Sauvage for a battle. I'm going to battle it against some other fragrances that I think are really good and some fragrances that I know that a lot of people want to see versus videos about. So I'm going to battle Sauvage Elixir against six other fragrances in this video. And the ones are YSL, Y, EDP, we have Oud for Greatness, we have Dylan Blue from Versace, we have Leighton and Ombre Leather. And spice bomb so let's start this versus video and of course we need to go through dior sauvage elixir first this is warm and spicy it's woody and it's aromatic in the top it has a cinnamon note together with some nutmeg and cardamom together with grapefruit so a spicy and fresh opening that is just beautiful then you have this fresh aromatic lavender note some licorice sandalwood and amber and to me this is an extremely elegant masculine and seductive fragrance. This is a perfect dating fragrance, but it's also a fragrance that you can use for any occasion and you will smell fantastic. So since this is definitely one of the best for men and one of the best from Dior for men, this is going to be tough. And the first verses we are going to do is Sauvage Elixir against Y from YSL and this is the Eau de Parfum. So this is aromatic, it's woody and it's fresh spicy. It opens up with apple, some ginger and bergamot. Then there are sage, juniper berries and geranium. So you have something fruity, something spicy and something aromatic. And in the base some amberwood, tonka bean, cedar, vetiver and olibanum. Now this is just like Dior Sauvage Elixir. It's a very masculine fragrance. It's very versatile. It's definitely perfect for a date. But this is also a perfect office fragrance, gym fragrance. Yeah, just everything. And out of the fragrances in the Y collection, this is definitely one in the top. So which one am I going with? Dior Sauvage Elixir or Y Eau de Parfum from YSL? This is really tough because both are great, but I'm going with Dior Sauvage Elixir. And the next one we are putting this Sauvage Elixir against is Versace Dylan Blue. The amber, citrus fresh, spicy and musky fragrance with an aquatic side. So Dylan Blue, opens up with bergamot, water notes and grapefruit. So something really fresh and also aquatic in the opening. Then there is black pepper, patchouli and violet leaf together with papyrus. And papyrus is something kind of aromatic and woody. And in the base, incense, musk, tonka bean and saffron. So something a bit warm, something a bit sweet. Versace Dylan Blue is one that is perfect for summer evenings. You can actually use it all year round, but I would say summer evenings, spring, and in the beginning of the fall is probably the best time to wear it. And I think it's a really good fragrance. So which one am I going with? Dior Sauvage Elixir or Dylan Blue? I'm sticking with Dior Sauvage Elixir in this one too. And the next one is, of course, between Sauvage Elixir and Eros EDT from Versace. So this is vanilla focused, it's aromatic, it's green and fresh spicy. It has a wonderful opening with some green apple and mint together with lemon. Then there is tonka beans, ambroxa and geranium together with the beautiful notes of vanilla, some cedar, oak moss and vetiver. This is so sexy. This is fun, this is adventurous, it's playful. It's just a happy scent and this smells so good in the summertime. You can use it all year round, but this is definitely to me a summer fragrance. I know that not all of you are with me on this one, but I actually think it smells wonderful in the summer and in hot weather. So which one is the winner? Is it Sauvage Elixir, the elegant masculine one, or is it Versace Eros EDT, the fun, adventurous, flirty one? Well, I really like both of these. I think they are both amazing. And I, if I were a guy, I would definitely use both. But if I could only pick one, 
I'm going with Sauvage Elixir again. And coming up against Sauvage Elixir this time is Spice Bomb, the original from Victor and Rolf. It's warm and spicy, it's sweet and it is aromatic. And this is, I would say, a modern classic. This is a great fragrance that I think all men should try at least once. Spice Bomb opens up with pink pepper, some alumi, which is kind of spicy and balsamic. There's bergamot and grapefruit. So a fresh and spicy opening. Then in the dry down you get cinnamon together with saffron and paprika. And then some tobacco, leather and vetiver. This is, this is an amazing fragrance. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's very, I would say, creamy. And it's a very easy to like kind of fragrance. This is something that most people enjoy, both women on men on a man. So a tough choice once again. And if I had Initio's Rehab in my hand instead of Spice Bomb, which is quite similar to it, I would have gone with the one from Initio. But when I am putting Spice Bomb up against Sauvage Elixir, I'm going to go with Sauvage Elixir again. And the next versus is between Leighton and Sauvage Elixir. Leighton is the warm, spicy, vanilla focused, woody and aromatic fragrance with a fruity side from Parfum de Marly that I actually didn't like up until like a year ago. But this is wonderful and I love it now. It has a wonderful opening with apple, lavender and bergamot. Then some mandarin orange, there's some geranium, violet and jasmine. And the vanilla note in this one is so sweet, so creamy and so good to get with sandalwood, cardamom, some pepper and gayak wood. And this is just the perfect boyfriend fragrance. This is something that I can almost say that all women like. Not all, but almost. This is such a nice vanilla, apple, woody, elegant and masculine fragrance. So which one am I going with between Sauvage Elixir and Leighton. I'm actually going to pick Leighton before Elixir and yeah I'm surprised myself but that's how I feel. And the next one to battle Dior Sauvage is Ombre Leather. This is the wonderful leather focused, a bit animalic, white floral, warm and spicy fragrance from Tom Ford. This opens up with a beautiful note of cardamom. Then you have that leather and the white floral jasmine and in the base some amber and moss. So there is something really special about leather fragrances. They smell so amazing, most of them. And Tom Ford's Ombre Leather is one of the absolute best. It's elegant, it's masculine, it's very well made. It has this beautiful mix between the jasmine, the white floral note, and the leather, and on top that cardamom. This is yeah, this is a real masterpiece. So which one am I going with? The safe and wonderful Sauvage Elixir or the a bit more challenging Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. I'm going with Ombre Leather in this one because leather fragrances are amazing. And I mean, I have one of the best in my hand. So how can I not choose Ombre Leather? And the next one to challenge Sauvage Elixir is Old for Greatness from Initio. This is a warm, spicy fragrance with that beautiful note of old, some lavender and leather. This is a warm and spicy fragrance with that beautiful old note. And it opens up with the lavender together with saffron and nutmeg. Then there is the oud and patchouli together with musk. But this is really about that oud and it's a very elegant and beautiful well-made oud. And actually an oud note that I think most people can accept, even the ones who are not so familiar with oud. But this one is amazing. And this one is even so polished that you can wear it to work. So which one am I going with? The wonderful Sauvage Elixir or oud for greatness? Well, in this case, I'm actually going to go with Oud for Greatness because Oud for Greatness is such a unique fragrance. It's one of the best Oud fragrances you can have. And I just love how they made the Oud so, in a way, versatile and easy to like, even if you're not into Oud fragrances. So that was Dior Sauvage Elixir versus against seven other great fragrances. And this is how I would choose. Would you have made the same choices as me? Tell me in the comments. Like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.